Good morning, it's Mrs. Potter here. And today is college day and I'm representing the University of Oregon Ducks. And I enjoy their sports teams and especially the girls basketball team. They did amazing this year. They were outstanding. So today I'm gonna read you a little book and it is called, How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And it's written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. And the publishing company is Blue Sky Press. I would like to read this book for my sister's grandson, Andrew, in Georgia today, because he loves dinosaur. And Jamie Dixon's boy, who loves dinosaurs too, and he's in Alabama. So how do dinosaurs go to school? How do dinosaurs go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride a, in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stop all for feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to school, does he play fight and push? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate packed lunch? Oh dear, I hope not. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? No running in the hallways, boys and girls. Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? When in the classroom, plunk down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? Oh my. Does he growl during lessons or roar out of turn? No, thank you. Does he make it too hard for others to learn? Does he stir up the classroom and making some noise? Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No, a dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his cl classmates and projects they've planned. Now that's being a good classmate. At break time, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. He tidies the desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. I know we're not in school now, but these are good reminders from when we get to go back to being together. Have a good day and enjoy your family.